In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the LCM, the least common multiple of two numbers, three numbers, and hey, even four numbers. So let's start with the basics. Let's say if we want to find the least common multiple between the numbers four and six. So one way you can do this is writing out the multiples of those numbers. So let's start with multiples of four. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and so forth. Now multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so forth. Now notice that the least common multiple is 12. 12 is common to 4 and 6. So that's going to be the least common multiple. Now let's say if you don't want to write out a list of those two numbers. You can use Excel to get the answer. If you type in equal LCM and then write the two numbers, 4 comma 6, close parentheses, and it's going to give you 12. And so that's a very simple way in which you could find the least common multiple of two numbers. So let's say if we want to find the least common multiple between uh, 8 and 9, that's going to be 72. Or the least common multiple between 12 and 18, that's 36. And so that's a quick way to find the LCM between two numbers. Now, let's try an example where we need to find the LCM with three numbers. So let's say the three numbers are 2, 3, and 4. So let's do it the old-fashioned way. Let's make a list. Multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so forth. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9. I wonder if I can extend this pattern. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 27. Now for 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and I think at this point we can see the least common multiple. So if you hold control, you can select multiple cells. And as you can see, 12 is the least common multiple of 2, 3, and 4. And so to confirm that, you can type in equal LCM 2, comma, 3, comma, 4. And it gives you 12. And so that's how you can find the least common multiple between three numbers. So let's say if we want to find it between 3, 4, and 5, right? 3, comma, 4, comma, 5. And you could keep on going. So the LCM for 3, 4, and 5 would be 60. So let's say if you make a list. Well, you can multiply 3 times 4 times 5. Sometimes, just by multiplying the numbers, you may get the LCM. Not always, though. But in this case, you do. 3 times 4 times 5 will always give you a multiple of all three numbers. It may not always be the least common multiple, but it's going to be a multiple. For example, 24 is a common multiple of 4 and 6, because 4 times 6 is 24. But in this case, 24 wasn't the least common multiple. The answer was 12. So sometimes, if you multiply the numbers, you may get the LCM, but not always. Like in this case, if we multiply 2 times 3 times 4, it doesn't give us the LCM, which is 12. It gives us the common multiple, but that's higher than the LCM. Now, let's talk about finding the LCM given four numbers. And you could try this example. So let's say if we have the numbers 6, 9, 12, and 18. So go ahead and find the LCM of those four numbers using both methods. So let's write out the multiples of 6. So we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54. And I'll stop at 60. Multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81 and 90. For 12, we have 12, 24, 36, 
48, 60, 72, 84. And I'll, I'll stop there. So 18, we have 18, 36, 54, 72, and 90. So what is the least common multiple between those four numbers, 6, 9, 12, and 18? The lowest that I see is 36. It's the least common multiple. Now let's confirm it. So if we write equal LCM, parentheses, 6, 9, 12, 18, this will give us 36. And so that's how you can use Excel to find the LCM of 2, 3, or even 4 numbers.